A once-through boiler gets its name from the fact that water is pumped through it only once. It's not recirculated. Many once-through boilers are operated at supercritical conditions. In a typical supercritical once-through boiler, boiler feed pumps force the feed water through a header at the bottom of the furnace and up through the water walls. As the water flows through the water walls, its temperature increases. The water in the water walls is already under a very high pressure, typically around 3,500 PSI. That's well above critical point pressure. When the temperature rises above the critical point temperature, water becomes indistinguishable from steam. The section of the water walls where this happens is called the transition zone. There is no need for a drum, moisture separators, dryers, or a recirculation system because once the flow is passed through the transition zone, there is no water left to recirculate. The steam that leaves the transition zone moves on to the components in the boiler's steam flow path. The components in the steam flow path are generally the same for supercritical boilers and subcritical boilers. The main advantage of a supercritical once-through boiler is that it operates more efficiently than a subcritical boiler that has to recirculate water in the process of producing steam. A supercritical once-through boiler requires less fuel than a drum-type boiler of the same size to produce the same amount of steam. That makes a supercritical boiler less expensive to operate. However, while supercritical once-through boilers tend to be cheaper to operate, they're more expensive to build and maintain since special materials are needed to withstand supercritical temperatures and pressures.